hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to deploy your node.js express typescript backend on a platform called render recently on my channel i have uploaded a video about chatbot development specifically appointment scheduling chatbot development using dialogflow es version and in that video, I have also explained how to build a webhook for that Dialogflow agent so that the agent can interact with the outside world. And in that video, I tried to deploy the same application on cloud, but I failed due to some reasons. But now, since I have figured out how to, you know, deploy the application because it was new for me as well. But now since I have figured out how to deploy Node.js Express TypeScript application on render platform. So I will teach you step by step. So let's get started. First, you can see uh, the code I have used in that video is available on GitHub as well. So here is the agent itself. Now what I'll do is that I will start the agent. Yeah, you can see the agent started and if we see here, we can see OK response. Now what I'll do is that I will expose my local machine through ngrock to internet and let's test the dialog flow agent one by one so i'll start with hi then i'll say that uh, schedule an appointment then it will ask for the name i'll provide my name then it will ask for my email i will provide my email yeah, so it failed uh, my bed. I need to start again. Let's say schedule an appointment. Let's provide my name. Then it is Raj at gmail.com. Uh, let's say tomorrow 5 p.m. And it is asking, is there a note that you want to add? Uh, for the appointment but before that i need to go here and i need to set my ngrock url because i missed that mm. yeah so i'll copy that i'll provide my ngrock url for temporary purpose and one more time yeah hi then uh, schedule an appointment uh, my name uh, email uh, tomorrow 5 p.m and let's say no i don't want to provide any note yeah and you can see the response is coming and we can verify that response status webhook execution successful and this is the response so now uh, the application is working completely fine so what I'll do is that I'll push the code on GitHub and I already have done that step. Next, I will go to a platform called render.com. Here, I need to log in myself, provide my email address and you know, connect my GitHub so that when we click new and in this case, it is web service i'll choose build and deploy from git repository next since i have connected my github repository it will show uh, all the repositories and we are uh, trying to connect this one so i'll hit connect then i'll say youtube demo uh, I'll choose the uh, region nearest to me. Now here in my application, 
in my application what i need to do is that first if i start from blank let's say if i start from blank i i don't have anything not this folder not uh, this folder as well no folder then the first thing i'll do is that i'll do npm install so i'll do that then i need to run npm run build to build the application and you can see here as well i need to build the application i need to run tsc command so i'm using through package manager yeah once the application is built i can then do npm run start so it will uh, spin up the server uh, through this dist uh, slash index.js which is here okay so i need to perform the same steps on my server so my build command will be npm uh, run first my bad npm install then i'll say npm run build once the application is built i'll say npm run start so it will spin up the server i will choose the free one then since my application uses some environment variable i'll click add uh, from dot env file and i will provide my environment uh, variables and don't worry about me exposing these values uh, i will discard or dis you know uh, destroy the values after the video so i'll click on add variable you can see the variables are added then i'll hit deploy web service now this action may take time depending on the load uh, on render platform itself and there are other parameters which you know decide how fast this will go but uh, i'll resume the video once this process is completed okay finally the application is now deployed and you can see how it goes uh, first npm install and you can see added 126 packages then npm run build you will see that found zero vulnerabilities and the build was success and then npm run start and the command is node dist uh, slash index dot js and you can see the application is running on the port now uh, if i click here i'll see the application and okay status so i can now copy this and go to my dialog flow and provide it as my webhook url and i can save it and i can say hi then schedule an appointment then i'll provide my name then my email then the time and at this point i'll say no i don't want to provide any note yeah, you can see the application gives a response and if i come here and under status you can see the webhook execution is successful this is the response and indeed if i go here and under the logs section hopefully yeah you can see uh, the appointment is scheduled and these are the uh, appointment information so i hope you now understood how to deploy the application uh, make sure you understand the part where you need to provide the steps of the execution i was you know uh, failing at that part so first you install the dependencies then run the build and then start the application
I hope now you have learned how to deploy your Node.js Express TypeScript application on a server like Render. Even if you choose to go with another server, you need to follow the same steps. I hope this video is informative to you and if it is so, please consider subscribing to my channel that helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.